Welcome to the Marvelous Designer Intro to Sewing video. I will show you how to use the tools to get you started sewing in 2D and 3D in Marvelous Designer. To make it easier to follow along with the lesson, please reset your user settings or make sure your mouse presets are on the three button or regular mouse. If you do not know how to change your settings, please watch our UI video first. Please follow along using the sewing lesson file, which is available for download in the link in the description box below. For those using Marvelous Designer 9.5 and above, we have grouped more tools together for a cleaner user interface. Please long press the left mouse button on the tool to view a list of all of the tools in the tool group. The first tool is the segment sewing tool. With this tool, you can sew segments, or lines between these segment points together, even if they are not the same length. You will notice these notches or these perpendicular lines that appear as you select your segments. These notches indicate the start of your sewing direction. As you click near the ends of the lines, it will use the closer point as your starting point, so be mindful of where your sewing starts. You can cross the sewing lines as well. When or if you want to do this, the sewing lines will be flipped. To the right of the segment sewing tool, you have the free sewing tool. This tool allows you to sew without regard to the segment points on the patterns. The starting point of your sewing will be the starting direction of your sewing, so keep that in mind. As you can see, I can finish the sewing at any point, but as I am free sewing, there is a little blue ghost or dot, and this is a helpful point that lets you know where the exact same length of your sewing is. It is a useful reference if the lines are the same, but you can ignore it if you want to have it gather like a skirt or have more wrinkles on your seam. Now, as you can see, I have a flipped sewing line and the sewing appears to be crisscrossed. To fix or edit my sewing, I can use the Edit Sewing Tool to the left of the Sewing Tool group. With the Edit Sewing Tool, I can move the sewing lines by selecting them, I can change their lengths by selecting and moving any endpoints, and with right click I can make specific changes or changes to measurements. As you can see, I have accidentally crossed my sewing lines, so I can right click either of the lines and choose Reverse Sewing, and it flips one of the sewing line's start points. One to end sewing is the same tool as the segment sewing tool. So I can select one segment first and then hold shift and select multiple segments after, allowing me to sew multiple pieces into the first segment piece. Remember to hold shift as you select multiple line segments. If you let go, it will finish your selection. And finishing this is M to N sewing. With this tool, available in both segment and free tools. You can sew multiple lines to multiple lines. As you can see, I've selected the tool and on the right hand corner, you can see the tool options. After I have selected my multiple lines, I use enter and select more lines after that. I can do the same with the free sewing M to N tool. If you have made any mistakes with any of your tools, you can step back using the backspace or delete keys without canceling your entire sewing. And lastly, all of this can be done in the 3D window as well. The only difference is you need to double click to finish any of your free sewing lines. That was the intro to sewing. Please follow along with our other tutorial videos to learn more, and if you have further questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below and we will do our best to answer your questions. If you want more information on and where to get Marvelous Designer, check out our website, forum, and official Discord channel in the link below.